Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Europa Universe House 4 as we are playing as Italy in the Emperor Expansion. Uh, so sorry there wasn't a video on Tuesday, guys. Uh, that is because I, I ordered a new mic about six or seven weeks ago. Uh, and it was a... Uh, apparently this mic has been really popular lately because it's on back order like everywhere. I tried ordering on Amazon, they didn't have it, so I had to go to like the... Uh, uh, the site for the mic and go through their, you know, their approved sellers and go through all of them and they're on back order everywhere. So you couldn't really buy the mic uh, and get it at a reasonable time anywhere. So I went ahead and just ordered it from one of those approved sellers and just told them to send it to me whenever they whenever they get it in. And uh, they didn't send me an email or anything that they were sending it, that they had got it. I got the package on Monday and I should have just recorded that uh, episode for Tuesday uh, before I set up the mic, I, I had completely forgot just how long it takes to, uh, you know, redo all your sound settings. Because you don't got to redo your sound settings for the computer as well as for your recording software uh, for that specific mic. And, and it's been a long time since I switched out mics, so I just kind of forgot how long that took to do. Uh, it did take a couple hours uh, to get it hopefully right. Uh, you have to let me know, know down in the comments below. Uh, how it sounds, does it sound better, sound worse, uh, or does it sound the same? No difference. And just let me know down in the comments below. It, it probably will take me a, a little while to get it to sound just the way that I like it. Uh, again, I haven't switched out mics in a long time. I think we've been using the, the mic we were using uh, here on the PC because we had two different mics. Ones we, one we used it on the console and one we used on PC. And uh, we've been using uh, that setup for uh, over two years since like early 2018. Uh, and then we had had that mic that we were using before that for uh, probably about two years as well. Uh, I've had people come from like my older videos like from back in like 2016 and say, oh, your voice has changed so much. And it's like, well, I'm 33 years old. My, my voice hasn't changed in a long time. Uh, it's just the mics. Uh, every mic, uh, my voice sounds different. Uh, you know, uh, when we first started, those mics were absolute garbage. And then uh, we slowly started upgrading our equipment, getting better, also better uh, editing software, better recording software, all that good stuff. So that also helps. The voice hasn't changed at all. Uh, it's just uh, every mic sounds a little bit different. In fact, I had bought a, a mic a little while ago that uh, I really didn't like. I, know, I think I did a couple videos with it and then I returned it because I just didn't like the way it sounded at all. Uh, the S's particularly sounded odd. Uh, so yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, let's go ahead and get started in today's episode. One thing you may have noticed when we started out here looking at the whole map is that uh, Muscovy is not doing very well. Uh, Eastern Europe is in a very different situation than normal. Uh, and the Danes, who are our rival, are becoming increasingly more powerful. I think they might end up connecting these lands here because they do occupy all this territory right now. Uh, so it would be interesting to see how things develop over there. But so far, uh, the Danes are, are just absolutely dominating uh, against the Russians. Uh, so uh, last episode, we ended off winning this battle here. It was a big battle. Uh, but the Swiss are still coming to attack, so we're going to allow that to happen. Defend there. We're going to send these troops here and uh, try and grab this hill province. Uh, and all these guys are going to retreat, of course, and yeah, this will be a nice easy battle right here since they do have that penalty and they have so few numbers. In fact, we were able to completely stack wipe those 11,000 troops. Uh, so and let's go ahead and, and continue taking provinces. We're going to go down towards taking these two forts here. One other thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build an infantry unit uh, right here in Rome. And you guys will see, well, you know, that's not going to be enough. Uh, I'm, I was going to attack Corsica over here. That's what I want to do. Uh, but frankly, uh, we're going to need more troops than that. Uh, 1,000 will not be enough. So we're going to build whatever we can whatever we can get. I might just end up deleting these guys since we might very well end up needing the manpower. So what we'll do is we'll get to a very basic army here. Uh, though it looks like we are completely broke right now. Uh, so we're not going to be able to do that. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and cancel that infantry. We're just going to wait. We'll just wait. Why pay for the maintenance on them if we can't get the army that we need? And I guess putting together maybe 6,000 should be enough. Yeah, we'll do like a 6,000 man army to come over here and uh, attack them. I didn't realize they had uh, 4,000 troops sitting on, on Corsica. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our troops. Uh, we want to keep them in a position where they'll always have a army nearby that will be able to support them. So let's kind of move. Ooh, we can't move there. Maybe we got to wait a, a day. There we go. So let's go ahead and move to these provinces. Take all of these unfortified provinces they still do have a lot of troops here uh, and they might very well end up come up behind us here you can see that they are attacking the capital I I think we're gonna have to send another army that way 
We might, in fact, have to send two armies that way just because of the sheer number of troops that the Mamluks are sending towards the Austrians. Uh, that is a lot. That is a lot of dudes. But I do want to take some of this territory first because uh, we're trying to get the damn war score up because uh, it's not in a great position. Uh, we could attack here. It looks like uh, we would not want to do that. Even if it is just 12,000 troops, they can come back here and uh, we'll be attacking in the mountains and I think we'll also be getting a river penalty there. Uh, so overall, terrible attack. Uh, we'll just go to Kosovo instead. And I'm just going to take a little bit of territory, just enough where we can leave like one army sieging down this fort that's in the mountains. That means ugh, that means we would get the penalty if they attacked us, so leaving 1,000 men here probably would not be enough. Uh, how about here? Could we help in here? We probably should. Uh, let's see if we can't get there in time. Uh, we would get the river crossing penalty, uh, but yeah, we really want to try and destroy these troops. I, I don't think we'll get there in time, honestly. Yeah, I just don't expect to get there in time. Let's go ahead and go over this way now. We'll see what happens, guys. But it is 75,000 men, so we probably don't want to send our our 20-something thousand in there. Yeah, I think that would end up being bad. Uh, so instead, yeah, I just don't think that that would work. I I'm surprised, with, again, just how many uh, troops the, the Mamluks are able to, to put together. It's, it's quite a bit. So I think we'll go over, I don't know, the best way to do this would be probably just go over this way. Just avoid that fight. Uh, the Austrians, yeah, they did get wiped out, so their army is completely destroyed. And, and I want to say they have, yeah, they have another 15,000. Frankly, their armies are just not large enough to mess with these Mamluk troops. There's just too damn many of them. There are a lot of them, guys. Uh, so they are just able to uh, wipe the floor with our, our allies' troops. Yep, and there they are again. Uh, they're going to attack them with double the numbers, which means that they're going to be completely destroyed. Uh, so these guys are done here again. We're trying to keep them all together. I hate that we we are overlapping here. I think we might wait to move there because uh, again we do take a lot of attrition when we have fifty thousand men there. Yeah, they're gonna take that capital again, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, that with the Mamluks way over here, maybe we can just fight the Ottomans. I suppose that's one advantage. I am a little bit worried about them knocking the Austrians out. Uh, oh yes, I completely forgot that we also had our fleet moving out. Uh, so the Ottomans are right now stuck in their port. So if we attack this fort here and take it out, not only would we have the bonus, uh, you know, again, for the siege, since we are blockading them, but that'd push their fleet out. Maybe we could get that, that uh, fleet destroyed, get a little bit more war score. That's a possibility. Uh, so these guys are gonna go here, these guys are going here, and these guys are gonna go here. Again, just trying to keep them all together, all three of our armies, so they can never, you know, jump us with overwhelming troops. They did split their force now. 30,000 going up this way. Uh, we don't want them to take that back. And um, then we have like uh, 30 something thousand coming over this way. It's just ridiculous how many troops they have. That's a, it's a lot. Uh, and then we would want to go, so we have this fort. So we actually won't be able to attack this fort yet. I think we need to take this one here. Again, we just need to keep all of our troops together. Uh, they are taking those provinces back that we worked so hard to get. And we are looking at massive armies here. Yeah, I just don't know how the best way to do this. We gotta get them to attack us in a non-fortified province. Or get them to attack the fort that is located right here, where we can get that uh, woods bonus, which is how we defeated them before. So I suppose that would work as well. Now, if somebody doesn't see to this fort here, then this fort will just take back, oh, He's going to transport himself over there. I don't want that. Again, he's trying to avoid the fortification. We'll just go here then. And is this the guy we want to do the siege? I want to say they all only have a siege of one. Nope, take the back. This guy's got a siege of two. So we'll have him do it so that he can get it done a little bit quicker. And yeah, they're going to try and take all these provinces back. We do have the Venetians here that are kind of helping us out. Uh, what we could do is see if we can't get them to attack us in the mountain somewhere. We can't even go that way. Okay. Yeah, I was hoping that we could get them to attack us in the mountains. These are, of course, highlands and mountains here. So if they want to attack us this way, that would work. Uh, if they attacked here, then we would get the penalty. Uh, they're coming up around this way. Yeah, it's really hard to say uh, how we can get these guys to, to attack us right where we want them to. It looks like they're kind of happy with just taking these provinces back. Oh, they attacked us there. Okay, well, that... that doesn't work out because again I wanted him to attack this way but we'll go here uh, we are getting that mountain penalty uh, in this attack uh, so we'll go and help them out uh, and you can see that they're gonna wrap all the way around here so that's really quite unfortunate um, 
it kind of forces us to get everybody involved essentially yeah this is a, a terrible place for us to be sieging and where they can send all these men after us uh, there's nothing really to be done about it now uh, we're already here and I don't think we can avoid this guy coming here so we gotta send all three armies again to one province to do another big battle and this time we have the mountain penalty so that's a shame uh, but it looks like the battle was won before this army was able to get here okay well that works uh, we were taking a lot of attrition so what we should probably do is take out one of these armies we don't know if they're gonna attack here uh, we can't even go anywhere all right so we'll just go back We'll see if they attack us. They might. What we should probably do is wait until they, they get over here. Uh, it does result in us getting a lot of attrition hitting us. Yeah, they are going to attack us. Uh, despite the fact that we have 70,000 men. Uh, a little bit surprised. Okay, so now they're moving over this way. So let's go ahead and move these guys over to here. This would result in them attacking us, right? Let's just take a look, see who gets there first. Uh, they get there on the 12th of September. We get there on the 8th of September. So this would result in us getting the one uh, plus uh, bonus there. They might decide to change up their direction. Yeah, they are. Okay. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and spread these guys out again. So we're not taking that siege penalty. And you know, if they want to attack us here, we'll have to take the two, uh, the negative two mountain penalty. There's really no way around it. Also, with these guys here, attacking any one of them would result in the entire Ottoman and Mamluk army coming to that, that place. So unless, you know, you're not getting any kind of penalty, which in this case you would be uh, with many of these provinces, there's just no reason to, to do the attack uh, over something that you can take in a month. And they are going to attack us again there. Yeah, they, they are very keen on on attacking us here. What I think we should do is wait until they get locked so they can't get themselves out of this attack here. And again, it's not the the greatest place for us to attack because we are getting that penalty, but you know, 70,000 men against 37,000 are going to win every time. Uh, so do we have any money yet? We do not. We're still very much in the negative. Also, you can see that they are now sieging our territory, so we need to get back home after we take this one fortification. Yeah, that's a real shame, man. We're just having a lot of difficulty. Uh, trying to, to do both, be on the offensive and be on the defensive. So we're going to come here, uh, get this battle done. It does look like the Ottomans are going to try and come. Uh, and so and now we're going to go ahead and we got another win. Uh, I didn't look at the casualties there, uh, but I assume they're probably fairly high. Uh, unfortunately, this, this army with the, the two siege here, they are the ones taking the most casualties. Uh, will we get there before this guy? Probably not. Uh, we're going to get there on ooh, the 17th. Yeah, it looks like the 17th. Uh, this guy's moving over here, so it's this guy here. He's getting there on the 13th. Uh, this is, the, I guess, not as bad of a penalty, so I suppose it'd be fine for us to do it there, if need be. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll actually move with, well, hmm. We won't be able to support that attack, huh? All right, well, we'll have double the numbers. We'll see what happens, guys. All right, so we're, we're winning there. Let's go and move as if we were going to support them, just in case. Uh, since we are getting a, a train penalty there. And, yeah, we ended up finishing up the siege. And this battle is just about done. It doesn't look like we need to support it. The Ottomans are leaving. Uh, and most importantly, we got the siege done. That's what I really wanted to have uh, finished up there. They are attacking over here, so we're going to need to send our men there. And uh, we need to send our men over here. Though you'll notice that they did pull all those troops back. Uh, now, I, I know that this uh, war, we're not really going to gain much from it. Uh, so, you know, putting so much effort towards it probably isn't wise. Uh, but I do want to, uh, one, I'm having fun. Uh, and two, I'm going to try and get a little bit of territory out of this. Uh, so what we might want to do is, of course, we talked about getting this uh, province here from Genoa. Uh, the reason why I talked about putting an army together here, which we might as well just take a loan because we're not going to, uh, we're never going to be able to do this. Uh, so just going to take a loan now so we can do this now uh, we are starting to run low on manpower though so that is a problem maybe what we should do and i needed to take the loan anyway maybe what i should do is when i bring my troops back home just split off a few and send them over that way rather than build more troops with our very limited manpower yeah i think that's what we're gonna have to do guys uh so we did uh finish up this battle and again we look at like two times casualties on the enemy's side uh, so overall that's that's good uh so what we're gonna want to do now uh, i've got a plan for how we're gonna deal with uh this situation guys what we need to do is get this fifteen thousand men all the way over to this fort here where nobody can cross this to attack our men attacking the fort and even if they could they wouldn't get 
any terrain bonuses. Uh, but if we can stop them from crossing this strait here to attack our troops, then we could siege down this province with just one uh, army. Because uh, we'll have our fleet here. That does force us to keep the fleet there, though. And then, of course, when the battle starts, then our troops would be very vulnerable. So maybe we might want to get them out with the transport ships. And then allow us to send the other 50,000 men up here to deal with you know, the fact that the Austrian capital has been taken and our own uh, forts are being sieged. And then this uh, siege that's going on right now, we'd want to take that out as well. Uh, so that should allow us to do this. And we did have a, a revolt, uh, which is fine because that's over here and we've already lost provinces there. It does result in us getting separatism, which obviously is not a good thing. And I didn't realize that was plain. Uh, oh, good God, we're getting a lot of like uh, bad events right now as well, guys. We just have to take the, the stability loss because money is a, a problem right now. So yeah, we're going to take these two provinces here. Uh, and you know what? We're going to keep these guys close as we've been doing. Uh, I do want to attack there, but I'm a little bit worried about doing it without a second army. So let's get these provinces right here taken, allowing us to go after. Looks like we might want to take that too. Yeah, we'll take these ones, all these ones here. And then we'll come over and attack here. It looks like the Austrians are already attacking. Uh, which I don't know if they're gonna win that uh, rebels have been successful there again that does result in separatism uh, what I'm hoping is that they'll come and take all these uh, this territory here uh, and oh yeah we were still making a core out of that we might want to cancel that it doesn't look like we got very much of a done point four percent so we should probably just uh, cancel it because it looks like uh, yeah we, we, I mean, there's really no reason to keep it going for now that'll give us back our, our power that we spent and uh, we'll just wait to core it uh, because you can't core it when you don't don't hold it uh, so there's no reason for it to be sitting there like that all right so we'll finish up here again I don't see any enemy armies down here uh, so we're looking good in that regard we'll finish this up let these guys get across and then we're gonna take off uh, and probably have to finish this battle up since it does look like the Austrians are gonna lose uh, so yeah I, I do hope you guys had a great July 4th weekend if you celebrate Independence Day, you're American. Uh, let's go ahead and move over here now. Uh, ours was ours was all right, guys. It was we had fun. Uh, there were, of course, some issues. It, as I had mentioned in that other video, it did rain like the entire day. Uh, I think it finally stopped raining on at seven, uh, about seven o'clock at night. So we did get to grill, uh, which is good. I was a little bit worried. Uh, I was a little bit worried that it was raining too hard to grill. Because uh, it'd get all, you know, you have to try and keep the coals covered the whole time at the top and, uh, and you know, keep them from going out. And then on top of that, uh, you know, you get all your meat wet and all that kind of shit. So it looks like we would end up be attacking them here. I don't know if this is a good place to attack them at, especially when we can do it here and we'll get the train bonuses. Maybe we just want to go this way instead. I mean, it's not very many troops, but there's more here, and yeah, I just don't see any reason to take a train bonus when you know, or excuse me, a train penalty, when you know we attack here and all of the troops in the surrounding area are probably going to come to this one province. So might as well just get her done here. Yeah, I do think that they're going to send everybody over there. Yep. Definitely going to send everybody over there, uh, and again, we will get the, the one plus train bonus there. Uh, but yeah, I did finish uh, raining about seven. Big battle here. This should be an easy win. And so at 7, we started grilling, and uh, we were able to do fireworks and, and all that good stuff. Uh, so not quite uh, as good as I was hoping for with the casualties, but still double, double the number. Uh, we got Battlefield Medic, which allows us to reinforce quicker. Excellent. Uh, and we're at 14% on that siege there. Now, one thing that's going to be a problem here, as I mentioned before, is that when we're battling, we cannot block the uh, movement across the strait when our ships are in battle if I'm not mistaken I want to say that when they're in battle they can't maybe I'm wrong about that uh, and then if that's true then that puts us at the risk of an army coming over here and attacking our, our one lone army because at this point like one army can't seem to defend themselves uh, we have to fight with two armies at all times uh, at least typically uh, could attack here again. I, I think we'd take that train penalty and, and the numbers are you know close enough where I, I just don't want to take that many casualties if we can avoid it. I prefer again for them to attack us. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys move here. Now one issue is that we need to get back here back home soon. But we can't just yet. 
I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, but yeah, other than the rain, though, we had a good day. Uh, we, you know, just most of it ended up being, you know, being stuck in the house, uh, unfortunately. So we did finish up the siege of this fortification. Uh, so we'll be able to see if they're gonna come across here. But what I'm gonna undo is go ahead and send these guys uh, by my ship, I suppose. Uh, we do have to finish up this battle here. You can see they're attacking it uh, with, let's see what ships they got. They got three heavy ships, one light ship, eight galleys, and 13 transports uh, against our two heavy ships and our 29 galleys. Uh, so that should be an easy, easy battle for us. They did retake one of these provinces here. But again, it's all about the forts. Uh, so, and Denmark has actually listed us as a rival. They've been our rival for a long time, uh, but they haven't rivaled us back. Uh, so once we finish up this battle, which it's now done, and we did sink, it looks like we actually captured some ships. It says we captured three ships, but you'll see we only got one transport here and one galley. That means that we probably lost a ship somewhere or something, and that was replaced. That'd be what I'd be guessing here. But that's three transports of theirs uh, that were sunk. They got away with 10, all their galley sunk, and two of their three heavy ships and their one light ship was, was sunk. Uh, so we'll take a look and see what we got here. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that we just got like a new galley or a new heavy ship that we had captured and while one of our other ones were, were sunk. All right, so let's go and bring our transport ships over here. I don't expect them to be attacking us anytime soon. We do dominate the seas now at this point. Uh, they are sending Okay, they're sending these guys out of here back over this way. I think that we're going to come and uh, support them, uh, but it ended up not working out for them. What we could do is come down here and push the ships back into the sea. I suppose that would work. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, guys. Let's push these guys back out into the sea and destroy some more of their ships, get a little bit more war score, and uh, overall it's just a good thing. Uh, so is this a, a fort province? It is not. We want them to attack a fort province where we'll get those... Those nice bonuses there, and if they want to take the, uh, they want to do these little crappy battles, then that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and do this here. We'll destroy 2,000 men there just because we can. And yeah, they are continuing taking provinces. Uh, that was a province that wasn't in our hands though, so hopefully they take all four of these. But we will have to go deal with that rebellion because they could declare themselves independent or you know give the land to, to another country that shares a culture with them. Those are all possibilities that a, a rebellion could do. 54,000 men here. Yeah, it's just so many, so many dudes that the Mamluks have, uh, making this war take a lot longer than it would have. Oh, and we have a, a rebellion here uh, that the Venetians are gonna have to deal with. All right, so we'll attack uh, this province here, take this. That'll force the ships out and we'll destroy those two. Because why the hell not? All right, so that's gonna be a quick battle. Uh, just four transport ships that we were able to quickly sink. Didn't capture any. Uh, let's go and bring our transport ships over here. We're going to get these troops off. And then we're going to send them over to destroy uh, that army in Corsica. Now, I was going to split them off and only send like the bare minimum, maybe six or 8,000, whatever we need to defeat the uh, little 4,000 men that are here. And since they're all going to be in the transport ships anyway, we'll just send the 20-something thousand. It's fine. They're only going to be on that uh, island for a month since there is no fortification located there. Another negative event. We're getting a lot of these guys. Unfortunately, we're having we're having some issues. Our economy is, I suppose, is not surprising uh, during a, a time of conflict and during a war that we would have some issues with our you know, some economic issues. All right, so let's go to move these troops down here. Also, let's go ahead and get these troops. So yes, that's right. We have to go into the, the port. We'll get these tro troops here added. And let's go and start moving these guys down. Uh, I don't know if they'll attack. I guess we'll we'll see. Start moving those guys down. Now these are attached. Let's go ahead and I, I think we're one brig short, but we actually have one here. So that should allow us, yeah, because it's 25 units here. That should allow us to put them all onto the ships. We'll need to merge those. Let's go ahead and attach to the transport and then move them on over to here. All right, excellent. So then those guys over there, that does mean we only have 50,000 men here, which means that they could be outnumbered uh, in battles. And they are taking all these provinces back from us. And just having a lot of uh, difficulty overall, plus the fact that the Austrians are losing territory here doesn't help either. Uh, the Austrians are trying to help us in our fort there. I didn't realize we were being attacked again. Uh, but yeah, we, we will have to bring that 20-something thousand men 
back into Italy once they're done with Corsica. Again, that shouldn't take too long, uh, hopefully. And yeah, they're just uh, kind of bouncing all over the place here. I wonder if we can get there before them. Again, I would really like to have them attack us uh, in whatever battle we end up doing here. Make sure that they're the ones getting the terrain penalties. And this is all area that has lots of uh, uh, terrain penalties. So what we could just be doing is, is trading off territory at this point. Uh, so they leave on the 6th of June. They get there on the 6th of June. Okay. So we'll just wait until they leave. Uh, we might, in fact, be able to destroy them in time. Let me just take a look and see where we get. We get there on the 18th. Uh, so we could technically destroy them. Uh, it is in the mountains, though, so it's it's going to be rougher if they end up sending more troops over this way, which they might. But you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it, guys. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's no way to stop it. What about... Yeah, we're just going to send everybody. Uh, so we'll have to fight those Ottoman troops. I was a little bit worried with them coming that way. It did end up going down that way. So it's going to be 50,000 against uh, 25,000 in the mountains. Uh, so that's unfortunate. I probably shouldn't have done it that way. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys come over here, destroy those 4,000 troops there. And yeah, this war is an incredibly costly, uh, very, very costly conflict overall. And uh, we are going to win this. And it just pushes them back further, but again, doesn't really uh, help us out that much uh, on actually getting the win. Uh, the war score is looking better, though. So we'll take this province here, and once we've done that, we'll take a look and see how far we are from getting... Uh, peace uh, when they would be willing to all right so let's bring these guys over here stop them from being in the same province uh, is this a, a fortification no I don't think so so yeah we're gonna take these two uh, provinces. yeah that's right we've already taken that one once before and they are losing war score over here uh, you know when they lost this province if the rebels take this province as well then that'd be even more war score that they would lose but I don't think it's really affecting it by much honestly uh, if we were to just kind of look here yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, 0.4. It's not affecting war score by much at all. Uh, none of these non-fortified provinces are going to affect it much. And so we're really just trading back and forth, and really neither, neither one of us are getting much from it. The problem is that they just vastly outnumber us uh, by so much. Uh, so we have one there. Again, we do have to keep our armies together. Uh, do we want to attack this army here? It is in the, the mountains. Uh, there, it just doesn't feel like there's anywhere we can attack where we're not having to fight uh, in terrible terrain just because of the, the nature of, of where we're at. Uh, our fort has been uh, relieved. Uh, however, yeah, we've got issues. So we do need to send troops over that way. Again, though, I'm just trying to uh, trying to win this war without taking uh, too many more casualties at this point. Uh, because, yeah, the low manpower. Now, one thing we could do, and I don't know if I mentioned this in the series yet, is that we can slacken recruiting standards, which will reduce our professionalism by 5%, which would mean that we would no longer get the conscription army bonus there. And uh, that would give us 15,000 manpower. So it is an option to ensure that we don't run out of manpower. Uh, but overall, it, you know, we, we do lose that professionalism. So it does have the penalty. So they've taken that province back from us. We've taken both of these. Let's go and start pushing up here. And uh, I suppose we're going to start fighting over this way again. And they can just kind of take all these provinces back with the exception of the fortifications that we did get. So we did get something from this little escapade down here. We, we've got some war score from forts that will take them a long time to retake. Uh, but overall, uh, it does feel kind of useless. Just a lot of back and forth right now between the two sides. Uh, we would end up engaging these guys here in the mountains. Probably not good. Uh, so we got to wait a couple days before we actually move there. Uh, we can't attack that 10,000 there, though, because that is a fort. As long as they want to siege forts, we can deal with that. That is perfectly fine. Uh, so instead, let's move over this way, since we know we're going to be going over to that fortified province. Uh, still waiting to come up over here. I, I assume that they have, yeah, they have the naval battery, and that's the reason why this is taking so damn long. Uh, it just takes a really, really long time now, and you're taking attrition that entire time. Uh, those things are, are a really good place to build uh, if you're an island, I suppose, uh, since there's no way to avoid uh, having to, to deal with uh, doing a naval invasion. Uh, of course, if you're all along Italy, probably not as useful. 
with the exception of the attrition. Uh, I guess that helps on the naval conflict. Uh, that's right, our, our fleet, we need to do something with these guys. We can go ahead and bring them home and let them repair real quick. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll let them repair real quick in navels. In this case, we end up engaging in another naval battle somewhere. Also, they could always attack our transport fleet as well. They, they still have a navy, uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, let's go ahead and move over here now. And we'll see if we need to move all 50,000. Depends on if they bring troops to support uh, their army here or not, which I would not be surprised if they did. And are they going to attack us here? It sure seems that. No, they're going that way. Okay, it just looks looks like they're going this way. All right, again, November is when we get our army there. So it's going to take a while. We did finish up this battle, and we're able to easily wipe out the 10,000 men. So that's good. We're going to let them finish up taking this province here. Yeah, we'll let them finish taking that province before we move north again. And uh, we're going to continue being raided since our raiders are, are uh, excuse me, our pirate protector guys aren't out there. You know what? We do dominate the sea, so we could bring them out there. Uh, but I, I do think that that would result in some issues. What if we just did just this one, this one guy? And, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I think what we did is we... We upgraded this guy, and so that's why he doesn't have a mission right now. So let's just have him do... Oops, not the privateering. My bad. Uh, the Hunt Pirates. Just to see if we can't stop this. Uh, because this is, uh, this is being kind of costly. So we'll see if it, it'll work. Uh, so we did finish up there. Uh, let's go ahead and move north uh, again with our entire army. Although it does feel like there's not a lot of troops up here now. Uh, this 25,000 that we had here is going to take longer to get up there than I was expecting. So we're going to have to maneuver slowly so we don't, you know, attack a Mamluk or Ottoman army that might be uh, in a position where we wouldn't want to, to fight them. One that would be rather negative to us. Uh, this would work out fine. I know we're going to get a river penalty here, uh, but I don't know if anybody would be able to get here in time uh, to deal with it. Yeah, I don't think they would considering it's just 5,000 men. I think they'll be destroyed fairly quickly. Yeah, nice easy battle there. And we should have landed on Corsica. There we go. Uh, so we're wiping out those troops, getting that done. And they're not attacking any forts yet, so we're not going to move back down south. Let's just move over this way. We do have battles that need to be done. Uh, let's actually go up this way and hope that nobody attacks our troops. 67,000 Mamlock troops here. That is a lot. Uh, also, we finished up the Battle of Corsica, so we're going to go ahead and siege that. That's going to take 30 days since they do not have a fort location there. We're at 41% war score, so as soon as we get Corsica done, we can take a look and see if we can get the desirable piece. Because I am going to try and get something out of this. I think it is uh, necessary for us to try and get something. Uh, we're going to try and also attack these guys before they finish that, that uh, siege. But we need to get all of our men closer here because you know that that Mamluk army is going to come here and attack us. Uh, so I, I don't know if 50,000 can beat these guys with the, the train bonus. They will not get the river uh, penalty attacking here. Okay, so let's just let these guys get a little bit closer. Alright, now let's go ahead and attack them. And I'm not going to try and uh, sync them up. Uh, I think they should get there close enough. Yeah, they're a day apart. Uh, so we're going to let them go now. Uh, and our fleet here, are they done repairing yet? Let's just take a look. Uh, we do have that one ship that's fairly damaged. I'm guessing that's the one we captured. Uh, and it was a galley, by the way. So we could split them off and let them repair themselves. Uh, I don't really see any enemy fleets out here uh, to attack, though. Uh, though these guys are going to come out and attack us. Uh, it is a light ship and a transport, though. So I think our transport ship will take them out just fine. So we'll let them do that battle real quick quickly destroy their ships uh, we did have a, another province convert there we are having some problems with the reformation coming through our territory guys and it's unfortunate because again you can't uh, you just can't can't do anything about that uh, until they get rid of that modifier which I, I want to say it's 10 years we looked at this before but I don't remember uh, 1616 so it's actually a lot longer it's like 25 years before you're able to do anything about it. Uh, so just kind of stuck with it. And this is going to really start impacting us because you see more and more provinces are, are converting. We're going to have some serious issues with this, uh, I think. So this is going to be the big battle that we expected. Uh, they're not moving their entire force here, which is interesting. Um, yeah, if they would have done that, they might have won. Because uh, right now they just barely outnumber us. And they are actually getting the river penalty too. I'm a little surprised by that. Uh, so we did finish up this battle. Uh, and we did sink... Uh, both of those ships. 
without hopefully taking... We took a little bit of damage, uh, but not too much. And now we're going to go ahead and move our troops. And just have them move across. Come on over this way. Let's see if they're attacking any of our forts here yet. Not yet. Uh, we could go ahead and end uh, the war. However, might as well finish up this big battle here. Unless we're going to lose it. Uh, as of right now, it does look like we will win it. So yeah, we might as well finish it. It should be worth a lot of uh, war, war score. Uh, they are sending more men there, by the way. And it does look like they are having the uh, better general benefits as well during the fire phase. Okay. We do have allies coming to support us. This is going to be actually a very, very close battle. In fact, it does look like we might just lose it. Yeah, it does seem that we are going to lose it. So what we might want to do is uh, try and get the piece now before we lose that. I thought we'd win it. Uh, that ended up not being the case. Uh, so let's see if they're willing to... Yeah, they're not willing to, to give us anything. Yeah, they don't want to give us a damn thing right now. Okay, so that's unfortunate. It's because of the ongoing battle. Uh, okay, that's... I remember that they added that uh, a while back. Uh, yeah, that was a long time ago. But yeah, when there's ongoing battles, they will uh, not make peace for the most part, since you know they know that they know what you might be doing, uh, that you're attempting to uh, you know make peace right before you lose a battle. That did tick our war score down by quite a bit. Also, they're now going to get that siege done, which is a real shame because uh, yeah, th these are the guys who we need to have defeated in order to make peace. So, there's not as many troops there, uh, but yeah, the Mamluks are still nearby. Uh, so, again, we need to have all three armies, uh, because the Mamluk army is just so fucking massive. Uh, so we have to have all of our armies. Uh, it's just kind of a shame. I'm gonna bring these guys back to Rome, I suppose. Uh, are these guys ready? Uh, almost. One more month and then they'll be ready. Alright, so yeah, this war has just been you know, so stupidly... Um, expensive for us and we are now going to have to we have to do this here guys to be able to pull this this win out because again I, I don't want to give that province up let's see if they're maybe I didn't need to do that I mean I already did so there's no uh, changing it but let's see if they're willing to give us no and I don't want that for myself we want that for uh, whoever has it who has possession of it oh we do uh, so what we need to do is give this to the Austrians now I don't think it's going to matter much. I don't remember. Oh, it's under siege, so we can't transfer it. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it would matter much. But yeah, we want to give that to the Austrians. Uh, but we do have to get that province back. And they are taking all these back. Uh, though they haven't, again, they haven't taken any of those forts, though, so that's what's key. They are, of course, going to attack us in our fort. Whoa! Stop that. Uh, not 50 something thousand men. So they're going to attack us in our fort. And we'll have to bring these men back here. Uh, this is in the hills, so we do get that nice bonus there. Uh, education for the poor. Uh, so we can say an excellent into uh, initiative, excuse me. Uh, and then we'll gain some innovativeness, and the clergy will gain influence. And we'll get that modifier, which will increase unrest while decreasing local development costs. I suppose that's what we'll go, we'll go with. All right, guys. So the back end of this war is not gone good. Let's go ahead and move these guys where they can attack into that province there. We do have the manpower to replenish our losses here. Uh, so that's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack with all of our troops there. We'll let them get their morale first before we do that attack, though. Although we could probably attack with just this guy. Uh, and, well, it looks like they might be coming back. Okay. Yeah, we won't be able to attack them there. I still want to get that province back, but again, just so many troops over here. Let's just go ahead and send all of our guys into here and see what happens. We'll just have to send them all. They're going to be taking attrition this whole time, unfortunately. And as far as this province here, it does have a fortification, uh, I think. No, it doesn't. My bad. Uh, there's no fort here. And we would get the terrain penalty, so we will not help out there. I think we're just going to attack this province again. Eh, it's too late. Damn it. Damn it, guys. So that means... Yeah, that puts us in a really bad situation, us losing there. Because now, to siege it again, we will get the uh, the dice roll penalty if they attack us. Alright. Nothing really done about it, guys. Let's go ahead and move our troops over here. And try and keep them from taking attrition. Oop. And there's no way to stop that. And we will be attacking 40-something thousand men in the woods, unfortunately. It's a real shame. I think. Wait a minute. They might be moving there against us 
We moved there on the same day. So the question is, who's gonna get the bonuses? I can't say, um, but I'm really hoping that it's us. Yes, so they do have the train penalty. So this works out for us. Uh, we do gotta get all of our men there right now. They're currently uh, outnumbered, two to one. We're gonna move our troops in. Hopefully they haven't done too many casualties before we get there. Uh, our morale was completely up. So yeah, another big battle here and the other Mamluk army cannot support them because they're currently being engaged by the Austrians and then soon Savoy. Uh, so yeah, again, just having a lot of trouble trying to get this war finished up here, guys, just where we can get something out of it. You saw that they were willing to give us one province, but if we want more than one province, then we are going to have to work a little bit harder for this. Uh, the Mamluks are attempting to blockade us. Let's go and attack them there. Uh, and yeah, they are trying to get all these forts done, get all the forts back that we worked so hard for. Uh, so that's one we'll probably want to attack them. Uh, though, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, the main reason why I took these, though, is, is to distract them down there so that we can try and get the win up here. We did win here, so that's good to see. Uh, just taking a look at the battle here. They are getting the train penalty, but we'll never get there in time. I'm surprised that Savoy isn't helping out in that war a bit more. Uh, our allies did lose that battle, of course. <sighs> yeah, I'd love to get this, this war finished up, but they just won't give us what we want, man. Let me take a look and see if we can't try and get something out of this. Yeah, they're not willing to give us any of this. Yeah, they won't give us anything now. Because they do feel quite confident in it. Yeah, this war has been just... And, and that's the thing about the coalition conflicts. Uh, Why well, you gotta be careful with that aggressive expansion. You find yourselves in just these uh, pointless, senseless wars where you gain so little. Like, we just don't get anything from it. Alright, so how do we want to do this? I mean, those guys there... Bring these guys here, and then the last one up this way. Or, even better, let's have those guys go up this way. We'll try and take this, this province again until we get this, this one province. Now, we did get a win here against those, so they're going to retreat really, really far. But there's this 25,000 men. We'll see if they end up attacking us. Uh, if we have all three armies, though, then it doesn't really matter. And then, yeah, we'll move these guys here now, and then these guys here. If we take this, then we can get the uh, the peace treaty. Uh, but yeah, they might have taken all of our forts by then, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Do we want to just go ahead and assault it? It is almost already done. It already has, oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's this one here. Yeah, you can see that they are attacking all those forts down there. Uh, so, you know what, guys? Let's just go ahead and uh, I think we're going to attempt to attack this. Just do the... Uh, uh, well, we'd have to first to create a bra uh, use an artillery barrage to create a breach, and then we can we can assault it. Uh, so yeah, I think we are going to go ahead and do that, just so we can get this done, guys. And I know that's a, a waste of manpower, but again, if we can make peace right now, then then I feel like it's worth it. Let's see if they'll make peace before they take all those damn forts back. Uh, so they would give us these two. That's what we really want. Uh, let's see if we can't get this for Austria. If we can't, then we can't, because uh, I'm done with this war. And so it's been incredibly costly so far. I would assume they would not make that piece, because that would result in the annexation of them. So yeah, you would need like probably a lot more war score. Yeah, we're negative 81 right now. There's no way we're getting that for Austria, unfortunately. Somebody asked me to in the comments, and I said I'd try. Uh, that's the best we can do, guys. All right, we can see if they'll be willing to give us war reparations. I don't know. How about a little bit of money? I bet they'd give us something. Uh, is that all they have? Yeah, that's all they want to give us, two gold. It's not even two ducats, it's really not even worth it. So this is going to send the demand in. And uh, we'll take a look at how bad the casualties were for this total conflict. Uh, very similar numbers. Uh, they lost more than us, but just barely. Look at how many ships were lost. 78 ships on our side, 165 on their side. Uh, now, of course, this is including everybody's casualties, uh, and a lot of those are going to be our allies. Yeah, you see that the Savoy lost 39,000 of us, Austria 65,000, Venetians almost 19,000. We took a total of 130,000 casualties, though. We played a very large role in this conflict. Just taking a look at, like, some of uh, the main enemies. I mean, the Mamluks took most of the casualties. I mean, that's just insane. I mean, it looks a lot more equal in this part, but when you realize that we did most of the casualties in the battle, or in the war... It doesn't look so even now, because, uh, yeah, this is not too bad. Um, Amalek took more casualties. Uh, the Ottomans didn't. Yeah, that's how it looks. Just looking at our ship count, we lost 17 total ships, uh, 8 light ships, and 1 heavy ship. 
Uh, and I think that heavy ship was a captured heavy ship. Uh, as far as uh, theirs, the Mamluks lost 64 ships. So quite a bit. The Ottomans, 81 ships. It's even more. So yeah, overall, the war went in our favor. Uh, we did get provinces out of two key provinces here, but it was very, very, very costly. Uh, and we have a rebellion we still have to deal with now. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, these guys should be set up to go back out there protecting trade, get our uh, income back up so we can pay off all these goddamn loans that we have. Uh, we are going to have to move our troops back home, uh, and we do need to move one of our armies uh, across here to fight these guys. Uh, as far as which one's going to go, I don't think it really matters. I suppose we'll just base it on whoever the best general is. Uh, we got a 4 4, 2 3, so it's clearly not going to be him. And I think this, yeah, it's 4 4. Now, does anybody have. Yeah, neither one of these guys have siege. Uh, so we'll just bring this guy. I'm going to have him come over here, and then we'll uh, have him, you know, jump onto the transport ships. And where do we want this guy? We could send him to Naples. And then he can go to the capital. Alright. So we'll get all our troops moving back home. And then we'll go take out those uh, those rebels. Uh, how many troops do they have? They have 19,000. We should be able to beat them. Uh, as far as what we want to do here, we should probably go with the stability. Our prestige is, is maxed out. And we're also going to get a land force limit modifier. Not that we really need that. Right now we need things to kind of help us out financially. Uh, could go ahead and start coring those territories again. Uh, I guess we can start working on... Yeah, we can go ahead and do both of these, I suppose. Start coring those. And so yeah, we'll get our troops onto here. Uh, these guys can probably just go ahead and go back into Genoa. And then we'll mothbomb. See us needing those right now. So mothbomb, that'll save us a lot of money. Uh, so yeah, we're actually in the positive now. And that's with the increased maintenance cost since we are... Uh, trying to get these guys, uh, you know, all their losses replaced. And we are at zero manpower, unfortunately. All right, so this guy's going here. And why did they both go over this way? I must have did something wrong here. Okay, yeah, I don't know how exactly that happened. I wanted him to come over this way. And remember, if they hold this for a certain amount of time, uh, then again, they do gain their independence, or uh, they could also go to a different country, give that uh, all that territory to somebody else. So we do need to hurry up and get over there. I, mean, I don't know how long it's been. Uh, so these are our transport ships. Let's go ahead and get these guys attached to the transport, and then we're going to want to attack somewhere we don't have to... Uh, we'll just attack right here. We, we don't want to attack the troops from the transport ship. That wouldn't be good. So yeah, we're over here. Let's go ahead and now get the troops come back on the land. We're going to get there on the 20th of October. Uh, we'll see if they end up attacking us. If they do, we will you know, obviously defend. Uh, but if they don't, then uh, we'll wait a little bit to get some of our manpower back. And we'll siege this province down at the very least. We could also siege this one since it does not have a fort. In fact, none of them have forts, so we could go ahead and just take them all out. And they're just going to come right back and attack us. Okay, uh, so it's going to be 19,000 against 22,000. Uh, they will not take a river penalty. So what we might want to do is go somewhere else. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to be willing to attack us. I think they'll get nationalism again if, if they take this, uh, unfortunately. If, they, if we let them retake it. I suppose we can just stay here. Uh, I guess that's the only way to do it. Uh, we've got more men. We won't have any train or river bonuses, uh, but we do have a better general, so we'll just go off of that. Just let them attack us, because otherwise I think it'll increase the nationalism, because uh, they might come after us here and take the river penalty, or they might take this province first. Uh, so just because of that, I don't think that's the best way to do it. Uh, let's do this one. They stay. I don't care what the Mamluks think. They are our enemy. And if they're not a rival yet, maybe we should consider rivaling them. So we have uh, finished up this battle here, and uh, the rebels have been destroyed. So let's now take all the provinces, and we're going to want to take them based on which ones were taken first so we don't lose them. And I think this was the first province the rebels took, so I want to get it back. Uh, and we're going to leave these troops over here, uh, since I do expect more conflict against the uh, Muslims over here. So... 
go ahead and get that taken back. Let's go to move the transport fleets over here so that we don't have to pay for them anymore. Also, we should start drilling. I, I completely forgot about that. Uh, the reason why we're paying for our troops is because we want to, uh, well, we want to get their numbers back up. Uh, we also want to drill them because they did lose all of their drill in that war, or just about all of their drill. And of course, our professionalism isn't looking great either. Uh, you know, we, we had to go down some in order to get that manpower. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this up here. I did speed it up since we are now back in peace. Uh, and we did have to renew that loan since we don't have enough money to pay for it. Get us more interest. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get this fort and then this one. And then we'll just kind of park ourselves in uh, whatever province. It doesn't really matter. I guess whichever one is getting us more uh, unrest. So let's just take a look at this. They they might not be giving us any unrest because they just had that rebellion. Yeah, uh, so we don't even have to worry about that. So we'll just come here, uh, and then we'll uh, start training. All right, so we got all three armies drilling, and now we just need to fix our financial issues, uh, which we have many, many financial problems. Uh, we're also about to max out on the uh, Diplo power, uh, so we might want to go ahead and use that. So let's see what we want to, to do with it. Uh, we'll take a look at the text and see how far away we are. We're pretty far. Uh, and this would get us extra trade range and some trade efficiency. Uh, but yeah, still pretty far away. So we'll, we'll wait. Uh, obviously, it's, we can't even afford to do it any damn way. And uh, instead, let's go back to doing what we've been doing with the uh, Dipple Power. Working on getting the market share for the strategic goods. Uh, so as of right now, we have the wine bonus. Uh, we still have the glass one, but we are set to lose it. Remember when it drops to 15%, we will lose that. Uh, so we're trying to do paper and glass. That's where we want to do it. So the best way to do it, so we don't have to try and figure out which province all these are in. Uh, best way to do it is typically just look at here since it does have their trade good here. So we can s sort this by trade good. And then that's how we'll, we'll determine where we're gonna where we're going to build in. So there's only one glass province that we can even build in right now. So let's go ahead and build that one up a bit. Let's do, uh, do it a couple more, I suppose. This is in Siena, by the way. And how much power we have? We have a lot. Uh, so we'll go ahead and build up in the, uh, the glass so we don't lose control of that. And they are pretty expensive. We've already been, yeah, we've already been increasing it here for a while now. So because of that, they're all pretty expensive. Uh, what we could do just trying to look here and see how the best way to do this. What we could do is like tick up the admin, use admin power to tick up the base tax in one of these so that we could, so we could do this. Uh, we'd want to do it in the cheapest ones. So like this one here, and then we can do it like that. And that'll help. And that's a good amount of power we just spent. So hopefully that'll help us out. Uh, we'll take a look at when the month ticks over and see how, just how much that has impacted us. Getting these cores knocked out. There's another core we can get. So let's go and work on that. That's the one that we uh, had lost before. Uh, so let's go and take a look, and I'm clicking on the wrong buttons here. Let's take a look and see where we're at on market share now. So glass, we're up to 18%. Paper, we're at 15, almost 16. So we are having paper problems. Uh, we do need to get that increased. We are still the, oops, uh, lost this here. We are still the production leader here for paper and cloth, as well as, oh, it looks like that's it. Okay, I thought there was one more that we were the production leader of, but apparently not. I think we were competing for wine. Um, it looks like the French now control that uh, bonus. We did get these cores knocked out. Excellent. Uh, now we can go ahead and convert them, or at least one of them. And it's going to be uh, 20 months total to convert these guys. So we're going to send the mercenary, excuse me, the missionary over there. Get them converting. Uh, we might want to take a look at, at some of the, which one's this? Okay, so it's just these ones here. Uh, would it be profitable to us? Yeah, it looks like it'll probably be profitable. So it's going to core that. There we go. As far as how we're looking in this regard, we're at 565 to 850. So we're pretty good there. Uh, can continue using our military power here, which we will. That land maintenance modifier would have been really nice to have in the war uh, when we are having so many financial issues. We are now back in the positive. Uh, so hopefully we can try and get these loans paid off. But we're nowhere near where we were at before. 
uh, where we are earning, you know, like 50, 60 ducats per month. And a big part of that, of course, is because we're still trying to uh, get our troops back up to their 25,000, and that is fairly costly to do. Uh, so as soon as we're done with that, you'll see this tick up by, yeah, a bit more. Uh, so we're at 10.85, and we're still supplying them reinforcements. So maybe after this month, we'll see that tick up. Maybe not. They're still kind of building up slow. Oh, yes, our forts. That would save us some money as well. Because, uh, yeah, I think the tradition, again, I just don't think it's worth it. 0.27. <laughs> yeah, it's just not worth it. So let's go and mothball all the forts. That'll save us some money as well. And we'll see how we look here in February. Uh, conversion. Oh, damn, that's not the type of conversion I want to see being successful. Having more and more problems with that, unfortunately, guys. Uh, so now we're at 11.95. Okay. Smugglers running rampant. Again, I hate this damn event. It's just such a crappy event, man. It's just to, uh, just to penalize you insane amounts of money. Or to get a big old fat penalty uh, for 10 years. Yeah. So we're going to take another loan, guys. So yeah, we are deep in debt. And uh, debt up to our eyeballs right now. Uh, I think we have four loans, if I'm not mistaken. Let's take a look. Uh... Three loans, we have three loans. Of a total of 1,200. So essentially that's what we're gonna be doing for a long time is paying off loans. It's gonna take us a while to get that all paid off. Uh, and we're just not earning as much money as we used to. Uh, interest of course is hitting us because of the loans, that's a little bit there. Uh, but I'm not sure what else is really hitting us. Have we mothballed all of our, our fleet yet? Yeah, we have mothballed both of those. Of course we are paying for our military. I guess we weren't paying for our whole army. And I think that's why we were so high there. All right, so yeah, just going to have to spend a lot of time uh, fixing our economy, guys. Uh, it's going to be at least all of the next episode, I think, of just trying to fix the economy. Now, we could end up getting attacked again because we do still have uh, aggressive expansion with many countries. Uh, with France, we're currently looking at, uh, well, it's not too bad with France, negative 3. Uh, the Hungarians are negative 28. Uh, we probably won't have a coalition in Europe. I think we should be good. Uh, so what is this one about? Uh, this is the same event we had just gotten, so we'll get another stability, and that puts us at uh, 3 plus stability again, so that's good. We do have a looming disaster, religious turmoil, uh, and that's because of all the goddamn heretics, man. Uh, this is becoming a serious issue, uh, these conversions. As I told you, it would be, that it was going to become a major problem, and uh, it is. It is absolutely becoming a problem. Uh, so let me see how long until this happens. So I, I don't know that we can avoid it, because uh, you know we can't get humanist ideals right now. Uh, have religious unity at 75 percent. Religious unity is likely just going to continue to get worse. Uh, that's what I would expect. We're currently I don't know exactly where this is at. Somewhere on here, it'll tell us our religious unity. I think this is it. 63 percent, maybe. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the religious unity. It doesn't say it, but I want to say it might be. So that means um, that we would... Yeah, yeah, this is religious uni. So that means we'd have to get it up to 75%. And as you can see, none of these can we actually convert right now. So yeah, it's a problem, guys. Uh, and they're just going to continue to convert our provinces. And there's really nothing I can do about it. So that's not going to get higher. That's going to get lower. Uh, so we can expect to see a, uh, a disaster. Uh, which would be our second disaster here in the series. Promising Trader. Uh, so is this somebody we want to hire? A level skill 2 Trader. Uh, if we got somebody who we're paying more money for, uh, then yes, this would actually save us quite a bit of money. Yeah, let's go ahead and tr change him up. And he is the Catholic Lombard. That means that we would be able to uh, take him up and make him better. Uh, that will be a big old chunk of money. We don't really need a Dipple Plower right now, so... Yeah, this is this will help. What we really need is money, so this is gonna help us a lot uh, by getting rid of that level four guy for dipple power. Uh, so yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll, uh, just let our, our money kind of stack up for a while. We're back up to thirty six now. Uh, so cardinal across the border, getting us a a spy master that's cheaper. Uh, but that is, uh, I think that's a dipple guy. If I'm not mistaken. Let me just take a look. I think this guy is is pretty expensive. He's costing us a lot of money right now. Uh, so if that was an admin guy, but I don't think it is. Yeah, the spy master is not an admin guy. He's a dipple guy, so we don't really need that. Uh, so let's just see what the other option is. Corruption, loss of money. We had a new cardinal that we don't need. Yeah, I guess we'll do this even though we don't need the uh, 
the spy master. All right, so uh, this should allow us to get out of this hole much quicker. And that is, in fact, going to be the end of the episode, unfortunately, guys. Can now invest in admin tech for an extremely high cost. Uh, we will not do that. I don't think that's worth it. We'll wait until it gets a bit cheaper. Yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys do enjoy it. Again, let me know how the mic sounds. Uh, you know, it might sound exactly the same to you. Uh, to me, it does sound quite a bit different. Um, and, and I haven't got it just right yet. I, I do think I need to make a few more adjustments uh, to my sound levels. Uh, also, one thing I did note here, notice here is that we don't have as many uh, light ships out there. Uh, we're almost a big chunk of our, our Navy now is all warships or transports. Uh, so we need more trade ships out there, uh, but again, we are over our cap right now So maybe well, we don't have any money. Yeah, I guess we're, we're right now. We can't really do anything We're just gonna have to sit back and wait until we fix the loan situation get all these damn loans paid off uh, And then once we get all three of the loans paid off then we'll uh, we'll try and fix the uh, the lack of light ship situation uh, we do have a possible rebellion over here on Corsica. We might want to actually bring our troops over there just so we don't have to attack into highlands. Yeah, we don't want to do that. And this would also take it down some. So what we'll probably do is bring like one of these two armies onto Corsica. Uh, and then it will tick down the overall unrest. And if they do attack us, then we would be on the defense and get that defensive bonus. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave the episode off here. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode. And thanks for watching.